In this video, we will review how to run an external flow simulation for a Formula One nose cone in Altair SimLab CFD. Let's start off with meshing our model. In our case, we need to mesh the fluid domain, which will be air, and the solid geometry, which will be the nose cone. Our first step is to merge the fluid domain and the nose cone to ensure that all shared faces are equivalenced for meshing. After we merge the bodies together and equivalence the faces, we can create our surface mesh. We key in our mesh size and generate our surface mesh. We can now unmerge the models and see the surface mesh on the fluid domain and the nose cone. Our final step is to create our CFD mesh. SimLab's dedicated CFD mesher automates the boundary layer process creation and gives users the option to adjust the density accordingly. After creating the mesh, we can cross-section and analyze our volume mesh on the nose cone. After generating our mesh, we can now begin our CFD study. We go to the Solutions tab and select a flow study. In our case, we are going to run a steady state problem. After starting our CFD study, we can now apply the boundary conditions. Since we are simulating a Formula One nose cone, we want to simulate a fluid velocity profile flowing over the nose cone. In our case, we will apply a velocity boundary condition of 2,030 inches per second in the positive y direction. This velocity represents a Formula One car moving at 115 miles per hour, which is the typical average speed for a Formula One car. We will also specify ambient pressure conditions at the outflow to reflect the ambient environment. We could adjust these values to reflect different weather conditions. Now that our model is set up, we can run. AccuSolve has capabilities to leverage multiple cores and GPU. So I'll set my solver to utilize all of my available cores, and then I will begin my solve. During solving, I can monitor my progress by looking at the log file or creating response graphs. After my simulation completes, I can now post-process and look at results. In my case, I want to assess the performance of the nose cone by looking at the velocity profiles. There are a number of different types of results plots in SimLab, but in our case, I'm going to create a cut plot and I'm going to visualize the results in the X, Y, and Z planes for velocity. While visualizing results, I can drag the planes completely through the domain, and I can also turn on vectors or customize my legend. I can see that the nose cone design is pushing air directly where I want it, and thus is a good design to utilize. I also want to make sure the pressure on the nose cone is hitting the proper locations. I can click on the nose cone part and then apply a pressure visualization plot. I customize my legend and visualize the result and see that the pressure results align with my design objectives. Now that our design is validated, it's on to fabrication. To learn more about CFD or other Altair products, go to www.trueinsight.io.